Hey everybody, let's play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games, and in this episode, shit you ass DuckTales. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes, it's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery, or rewrite history. DuckTales, woo! I loved this show, and this game. And it's by Capcom, which is something I didn't even really think about when I was a kid, but it totally makes sense. There's just so much awesomeness to this game. The music is like some of the best music on the NES. I don't know why it was put into a game like DuckTales, but Disney and Capcom need to get together again. We need to have like a Street Fighter versus Kingdom Hearts or something. Alright, and it has been so many years since I've played it. I am so glad to get to go and play this again. We're gonna go to the Amazon. Alright, if I remember correctly, you can bounce off of stuff, but I gotta figure it out. Okay. You hold, you hold down, figure it out. Or do you just bounce off when you're near? Nope. I gotta, I gotta, there we go, it's B. Is it down in B or just B? It's down in B. Break the rock. You just bounce everywhere in this damn game. Fuck shit up. I don't even care. This is... The physics in this game, everything plays exactly like you want it to. You're like, I'm bouncing off the screen! And I don't even care! And one of the things about this game is that when you die, I mean, yeah, you still get that same feeling of, you know, minor failure, try again, but... If you have to start the stage over again, most of the time, you're just like, alright, I just get to experience that again. A lot of NES games are, people say that they were awesome and they're overrated. This game is A+. Let's go down. Nope, can we? Okay. Nope, go, go, go! This grill almost got me. Let's get this Mega Man pack here, can we? Oh, that's right, you hit it like a... Like a golf swing. What? Didn't even remember this. Figured that out on my own after all these years. Like, I have a vague memory of, of, of that, and you're, like, walking along the top. Freaking awesome. Oh, what, okay, what hit me there? I didn't even see anything. Come on down. Maybe I just have to... I think I just have to jump. Can I make it? Yes, okay. Bounce off these? Yes. Oh, shit. Okay, you have to pull a cunning move there where you stop the bounce, and then bounce up again as you get low. Kind of practice that. Yeah, a little bit of that. I'm gonna go back down there. I wanna make it on the other side of that spike trap. Come on. Make it before the gorilla gets me. Really menacing looking gorilla too. It's like I stole his lunch money off the table or something and he's coming after my ass. Alright, let's make it. Oh, shit. Okay, come on. Let me do this. Yeah. Elite. Scrooge skills. When you get home and you swim in that money, you need to feel like you deserve it. Where are we going? Oh, wow, okay. That was awesome. Where are we going up? Let's go up. Oh, we got some airborne stage here. We're not airborne, per se. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. I wanted to jump over. I guess you have to fall over, which means you probably have to go to the next screen. I don't know if I want that treasure chest enough for that. But I will take this one. If I can get it. What if I'm in the Amazon and I am pulling soft serve ice cream out of treasure chests? It's also the little the little things in the animation, like when you crouch, his hat takes a second to fall behind him. There are some Disney games that Thank you, Launchpad, but then when I jumped off, I died. There's some Disney games where the company pays a lot of attention to quality, and some where they just, you know, just piss it away. But this is the beginning of, of something beautiful for, for a lot of Disney stuff. Come on. I want to make it to the end of the Amazon, see if we can just kind of fly through it really quick. Because even in this awesome game, I don't really care about the score. I'm already rich. I 
jump. No, I just need to, like, bounce. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, man. Alright, we'll play a different stage. Transylvania. So much awesome. I'm gonna play on the moon. I wanna hear that song. Robo Ducks. What I do? What I do to you, Robo Duck? I understand animals attacking me, but bounce off him and get up these treasures. That's right. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. And you know why I'm going on these missions? To get richer. But you know what? I don't really have a problem with this guy because he's actually working for it, not just claiming to do so like a politician or something. Whoa. That alien. Oh, oh, spikes! I should have known this kind of looked like spikes. Let's get over here. So we can find power ups. Maybe in this direction. Need to use one of them to get up there. I like how he's inching forward. Come on, man. Oh, I can spring up there. Sort of. Can't really. Alright, there we go. Spring! Really gotta, really gotta try hard not to get hit in this. You don't have a lot of life. I think I reviewed this game in the first five seconds of this video <laughs> because I had spent so much time with it in my youth. It was already just right there on the tip of my tongue. But the music is beautiful. The animation's great. You know the. Uh, some of the hit detection is a little wider than you'd like for it to be, making this game just a bit more difficult than you'd expect. It's surprisingly, and, and actually to my delight, not just some easy children's game. Can we still, oh, so can we hit it back? Can I hit this? Yeah. Um, you know, it's actually relatively hard, and that's kind of what made it fun. Maybe I can, can I get up there. Bonus. But I know I'm not the only person that loved this game. And this is right around the height of Mega Man. Capcom is still yet to really fail me in a hardcore disappointing way. I, I've loved most everything that Capcom's ever made. I could do it without starting over at the very beginning of the stage. But not that I care. Like I said, I enjoy playing through all of this again because I feel like I'm just honing my skill just for the sake of the video. Um, I don't like to cut the Let's Plays. Uh, even though I'm not doing a series of one particular game yet, I don't like to make. I, I haven't yet. Uh, I don't want to make any video cuts in the middle of in the middle of playing. I like it to be more of a stream of consciousness, and uh, yeah, it leads for some slow times on occasion um, that many others would. Oh, I thought I'd be able to jump off his head. Uh, that many others would uh, would cut, but um, but not me. So yeah, if you've never played it before, get your ass onto a Nintendo and play some fucking DuckTales, because it is awesome. Um, as always, thanks for watching Let's Play NES. Uh, you can share and like the video, and subscribe to the channel to help us grow, and I will see you next time. Whoa!